Hi. On behalf of the Math and Science Department, I want to welcome you to Bay College and congratulate you for making a great decision on furthering your education. Today I want to talk to you about taking math at the college. You all should have either received a Take Math First brochure, like this one. If not, you could also get this brochure online through our Math and Science webpage. So you can start by going to www.baycollege.edu and then look at the Math and Science link and you should be able to find the Take Math First brochure through those links. Now if you open that brochure, first thing I want to talk to you about is this flowchart. Everybody at the college, no matter what program they're in, no matter what degree they're seeking, has to take a math course. For example, if you're in computer-aided design, you have to eventually take trigonometry. If you're in criminal justice, you need to take either college algebra or liberal arts math, depending on the university that you plan to transfer to. Now if you look at the flowchart, you can see that there are certain courses that you need to have satisfied before you can take other math courses. Now, your placement determines where you start. We determine placement at the college from either your ACT score, or if you don't have an ACT score, or if the, your ACT score is three years old, we require you to take the compass test. Based on the results of the ACT math, or the compass math, you're going to be placed into a particular math class. Okay, let's say, for example, that you place into MA90, which is pre-algebra. If you eventually have to take college algebra, you're going to have to take four semesters of math, starting with pre-algebra, followed with basic algebra, MA105, intermediate algebra, and then finally MA110, college algebra. This is what Take Math First is all about. In the past, we've had students that have been a little bit afraid of math, <laughs> and they've decided to put math off, to put it on the shelf, to wait until maybe their last semester to take their math course. Unfortunately, they're not ready for the math course that they need to satisfy their degree. So they actually place into a much lower course and they end up having to stay another one, one and a half, two semesters just taking their math to satisfy their degree. We don't want this to happen to you. I don't want this to happen to you. I want you to take math your first semester and get the ball rolling. If you place into MA90, MA100, then you're going to need to take several semesters of math in order to satisfy that requirement. So you need to take it first. Take it your first semester and get that going. Next thing I want to talk to you about is placement. So what if you have to take the compass test? What, what if it's been several years since you've had math and you're just nervous about it? Or, you know, what if you took the compass test once, you aren't happy with your placement, and you want to try to study for it to take it again, to try to place into a higher math class? What can you do? Well, there's several things that you can do. The first thing you might do is contact a math science faculty member. And you can find their extensions either on the back of the Take Math First brochure or you can always call the switchboard at the college. Okay, what else can you do? In the Take Math First brochure, there are several really good websites that you can go to to brush up on your algebra. And those are, are listed right underneath the flowchart. There's another couple of good websites, though, that I want to point out. And these are available through our, our Math and Science homepage. Okay, one of these websites is going to take you to the actual Compass website where there's a practice test. Uh, it'll let you sort of see the kinds of questions that the Compass tests are going to ask you regarding math. Uh, I think it's a really good one to look at before you take the Compass. Another good, really good website through our uh, Math and Science homepage is um, we have a, a link to the basic skills tests that we give in our math classes and they're called BSTs, or Basic Skills Tests. Um, basically, if you're preparing to take the compass and get into, like, MA105, Intermediate Algebra, uh, you might want to take a look at the
basic skills test for intermediate algebra on that website. And, you know, just by looking at it, you might make the decision like, geez, I don't know, I don't recognize how to do any of these things. Or I think I know how to do some of these, but I'm a little bit rusty. Maybe I, I need to brush up a little bit before I go and take the, the compass placement test. Um, so it really gives you a good idea of what to expect in the classes that you're trying to place into. So again, you can go to the Compass website, you can go to the basic skills test through our Math and Science homepage, or you can look at a bunch of the uh, other websites that are listed in the brochure. One more thing that you can uh, do in terms of improving your placement. We have a new software program available called Modumath. And it's available in our new Math and Science Learning Center, which, which just opened in the fall of 2009. Um, if you want to check out Modumath, you can either call Carrie Devine at extension uh, 1164, and she can make an appointment with you. You can come in and, and check it out. Or you can just stop by room 121, which is in our Math and Science building. It's our Math Science Learning Center. And uh, you can just talk to somebody in there. Modumath basically uh, splits the algebra into a bunch of modules. For example, if you're rusty on uh, factoring, then you can brush up on your factoring by going to that particular module, um, or a lot of other things. So it's another option for you to get ready for the compass test. Keep in mind for the compass test that you're only allowed to take it twice every 365 days. So you want to study for it. You don't just want to go in and, and think you're gonna you're gonna um, breeze by with you know flying colors. You want to be ready for it. Okay, the next thing I want to talk to you about is success in your math class. What can you do to do well in your math class once you place into a particular class? The number one uh, thing that we found as, as math teachers here is attending. And it sounds silly to say, but if you come to class, you're probably going to do well. Math is one of those subjects where you cannot miss. If you miss one day, it is really going to hurt you. You cannot miss. You have to attend. I heard a student the other day saying, well, I have perfect attendance. I've missed three days of class this semester. It's like three days. That's not perfect attendance. <laughs> that's, uh, that's actually quite bad in mathematics to miss three days. If you miss one, you're going to really be in trouble because you've got to learn what was taught that day on your own. And how many of us can learn math on our own? It's, it's pretty hard. So first thing that you can do to do well in your math classes is come to class, be on time. Second thing, do your homework. Math is not a spectator sport. You have to do your work to do well. And we can make all excuses about not having enough time and this and that, but the fact is, if you don't put in the time, you're not going to do well in your math classes. If you put in the time, you are. It's as simple as that. Every single night you have to have time set aside to do your math, do your homework. Okay, the next thing that you can do. If you feel that math isn't going to be your strong suit, if it's a four-letter word to you, <laughs> for a lot of people it is, you can get a tutor. And don't wait until it's too late. There are tutors available at the college for free. You can get one through the uh, TRIO Center. It's our, it's our math tutoring center at the college. They also have tutors for writing and for reading. Um, but the tutors are free. They work around your schedule. Um, and it's a great option for you. You can either have one-on-one -on -one tutoring, or if there's other people in the class that you're friends with, you can also do group tutoring. And, and again, they work around your schedule and what you want. So it's a really good option. Uh, again, if you feel that math isn't going to be your thing, I would get a tutor right away. Sign up for one as, as soon as you can. Okay, the final thing I want to talk to you about is to succeed in your math class, you really have to get to know your instructors. Don't be afraid to stop by their office hours. Don't be afraid to ask them for help. That's what we're here for. We're here to help you, okay? If you're having trouble in your class, make sure you stop by your instructor's office hours and ask them for help. And don't wait. Make sure the instant that you're having trouble with something, you do that. If you wait too long, then it's going to be too late, and, and it's going to be hard for you to catch up. So uh, 
make sure that you do that. Make sure that you get to know them. Again, I want to welcome you to Bay College. I think you've made a great decision. If you have any questions at all about math, feel free to stop by my office sometime. Room 113, Math and Science Building. And good luck.